Hey friend, how's it going? Thomas Decker here from GuitarRevolution.ca and I'm here because I want to help you to become the best guitarist you can ever be. It doesn't matter if you're just starting out and you want to be a campfire guitarist or if you are a seasoned guitarist and you want to get to the next level on your soloing skills, on your improvisation and so on. This is the channel for you, alright? And you know, I want to help you to play your guitar the best way you can play. The best guitars you can ever be. So you can play your guitar with passion, with power, with confidence, uh, confidence and ease. Alright? So stick with me because today, uh, on this video here, I'm going to be talking about a four note scale that will revolutionize your soloing. Okay? Four note scale that will completely revolutionize your soloing. You've probably heard some guys out there saying, hey, don't use scale to solo. That's, that's uh, bull crap. You don't need to use scale. Don't use major, don't use minor, don't use pentatonic scale. Forget all that. There's only those four notes that are going to teach you that will completely transform the way you solo in any genre, in any key. That's it, that's all you need, four note scale. All right, okay, let me talk about the four note scale too. <laughs> well, the reality is, there's not, not such thing as a four note scale that they're talking about, okay? Don't believe in those guys, they're trying to trick you. Let me, <laughs> let me show you exactly what goes on here. I don't know if they tr want to trick you, but uh, they, they say don't play scales, don't use scales, don't use modes, don't use... Well, I'm gonna show you how those four two note, note scales actually is a scale, right? Can be a major, can be a minor, can be a mode. <sighs> Anyways, it's very simple. The, the, the bottom line is these four notes are very very simple to be to, to put to practice, okay? You don't need mu you don't need mu you don't need really much to to be able to use these uh, this knowledge of this four note skill. So um, all you need to know is this simple shape that is like this, and where to apply. That is the root, okay? The shape is very simple. Um, let's start here on the D string and G string, just those two strings. Okay, gonna use fret four, uh, five, five, fret seven, finger one and three, and then the string below gonna use fret uh, five and seven. So it's a little box, right? A little square here, a little box. I heard of this before, uh, uh, being called as. Um, what was it? The BB King box, okay? I heard other people saying, oh, this is the Jimmy Page um, scale. Man, people way before them were using that. Maybe they made it popular, maybe they made very good use of these notes, and we can learn with that, right? And we also will use that. But there is no such thing as BB King scale. Okay, here's the thing. You can use this um, scale, this shape, two different ways. When you have a minor key, you find the root on the D string, okay? So let's say A minor. A minor on A on the D string is on the fret 7. Right here. So from here, you're gonna play the little square, the little box backwards, uh, right? Here's gonna be the second note of that little square. Okay? Let's say it's playing, uh, we're having a A minor backing track. You see how it fits perfectly? Well, I can play the octave of this, that is on the B string, okay? Use my A, so I play the box to the back of it. So, 
there you have it. And one octave lower. Here's A, so put my ring finger in. I can play that right there as my uh, four note scale. The, that's actually part of the pentatonic scale, which don't tell anyone. Okay, so that's for the minor. Okay, so all you need to know is where the note is on the top string, let's say, right? If you have a major, sorry, if you have a minor, you place the shape with the ring finger on it. Then the octave, here's the, the root, and the octave, okay? That's for the minor. Okay, let's say we have something on the key of C minor. Okay, C minor on the top string, eighth fret, E, F, G, A, B, C, fret eight. So, C minor. What do I need? I play from C back, right? So, ring finger. Sounds pretty cool. Here, the, the octave. Let's say you have a major key, so that's the minor. You find the root on the top string, or that I think that's a safe place to find the, the, the root. Top string, put your finger, uh, ring finger, finger three, and from there you play the, the shape that I just showed you, the four note scale, right? Now let's say you have a major key. Oh, major key, okay, it's probably a different shape. No, actually, all you have to do is to change a little bit how we play this, uh, this shape, okay? So to play the major key, all you have to do is find the root of the key of the backing track or the song you're playing on the A string. And from that note up, forward, you play the, the the four note shape. However, that's going to be the third note of the the sequence of notes. So, okay, let's say C major. C major. C is right here on the A string. So, you're going to have this is our third note of that shape. So, that means you're going to have three, four, three, two, one. This is what you're going to play. Okay? So we're gonna do C major. That's the octave, right? Here's C. Right? Okay. Let me use a few backing tracks here for you, so I can prove it to you that what I'm saying here actually works. Our first backing track is going to be in the key of A minor. So I'm going to use like a few seconds of different backing tracks, okay? So the first one is the A minor, here we go. So A minor, A is right here, so I'm going to use from here. The octave. Octave. Here's the root, right? is our A minor. Simple to use, right? Let me use 
a different backing track here now. Let me see. Uh, I think it's A major. Okay. So A major. A major. We're gonna use our right here. It's open string. Right. If I have my open string here. Okay. Sounds pretty. Here's A, A. And do octave higher, okay? Finger one over the root right here on the A string. Just following the four strings, four notes. Sounds very good too. Can't argue about it. It sounds good. I picked it up, right? Sounding good. I want to keep on soloing. Now, uh, minor blues and B. Minor blues and B. Minor blues, okay, minor. B is here, so minor. Starting before that, right? Here. Sounds like three is gone, right? Okay, next. This is a dirty pop guitar backing track in B. Is it B? B. So very different. B major. Okay, so B major is right here. So I'm using this shape here. And then the octave. Where is the one? Sounds pretty cool, right? Sounds very good. Next, uh, C minor. C minor. I already gave an example of that. Oops. Already gave an example of that, but here you go. Okay, C minor. C. Eight, right? An octave of this. The four note scale, it's the best. Oh, next one is C major, okay? It's a kind of John Mayer-ish style in C major. Okay, so from here, right? Octave. Oh, 
this is too loud. Let me bring it down. Again, C major, so C. Sounds pretty good. Beauty, right? Can't go wrong. Okay, last but not least, this is another one. Okay, classic rock kind of style, right? So in A, okay, classic rock in A, there we go. Usually, you use a minor pentatonic for this kind of song, okay, for the soloing to sound like more rock and roll, so minor means you find it and play behind it, right? Sounds pretty cool. Perfect. There you have it. The magic of the four note scale or the little um, square shape, right? Man, it works every time because it's part of the pentatonic. You are using a major scale or a minor scale, which is a pentatonic major or minor. The thing is that we're just shortening or looking at a, just a fraction of it and just reproducing the octaves of that fraction, right? It's nothing more than that. Yes, it is a scale. It's a fraction of the scale that is our um, favorite scale of every uh, guitarist, that is the pentatonic scale. Cool, so what I wanted to do is, if you need, go back and watch this this video again and get the hang of this little little fragment because it is very helpful it really is so the minor you find the root on the E string and for the major you find the root on the A string right now if you want to go deeper in this if you want to learn more about lead guitar I prepared for you a PDF okay it's a guide where in 30 days with this guide you can transform the way you're playing guitar. It's a 30-day lead guitar jumpstart, okay? It will give you a game plan for the next 30 days what you can practice, what material should be working on. And and step by step, okay? Like it's a, it's a guide that will actually lead you to a very solid foundation. A step by step and how to take your guitar playing to lead levels, all right? So it's completely free. Just click the link below and you enter your email there and I will send you to your email this guide. And I, like I'm telling you, it's very, very helpful to give you a structure of what to study, what to practice, what to, to, what to work on next, okay? So there you go, the 30-day lead guitar jumpstart. Just click the link below and download it study go through it the results you will have will be amazing okay so go ahead click the link below download the pdf work on your skills and i see you in the next lesson thank you so much for watching see you then